Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I am your host, Chris Torrance. Today, we're going to take a look at removing the volume control from an Apple IIc logic board. Javier Rivera needed a new one for his board, and I just happened to have an old board where the video was dead, but the audio control was fine. So we're going to take a look at how to actually remove the volume control. So let's get started. Okay, so here's the Apple IIc logic board with the volume control, which we're going to try and remove. As you can see on the top of the board, there's not much to it. You can't really see how it's attached. If we flip it over, we can see that there are three solder points here, here, and here, and then two what appear to be plastic nubs that are shoved through the board. And so we're going to try and unsolder these three points first and then see if we can push the knob out from the back here. So I'm going to go ahead and use the solder sucker to uh, get the solder out from there. So to get the volume control out, what I did is I just removed all the solder using both the solder sucker and the wire braid from the opposite side of the board. And then I actually ended up just slightly melting these two ceramic nubs that were pushed through just because that was the only way to really get them to shove back through. And then the solder was still holding it in, so I just very carefully wedged a screwdriver between the board and the volume control and just kept heating the solder until it was able to finally work itself free. So here's the volume button removed from the Apple IIc logic board and there's three pins on it. So this is the bottom view. So we've got the ground pin, the pin that's going to the UA14 audio package, and then the plus five volt pin. And so over here on the main board, this is the ground pin here. And then here in the middle, this is the one going to UA14, which is up here. And then this top pin is the plus five volts. So now we can analyze the resistance of this just to see if it is a 500 ohm. Uh, so right now I have the button turned off. So if, and I've got it set to, uh, beep for continuity. So if we attach the leads between UA4 and ground, then it should beep if I get it on there correctly. And then if we change to uh, just measuring the resistance uh, between the middle pin and the plus 5 volts, we get about uh, about 480 ohms. So that's close enough to 500. Now we can spin the dial around carefully. Okay, this should be all the way on. And let's put it back on continuity. And now if we touch the plus 5 volt and the middle pin, so those are connected. So installing the volume control back into the Apple IIc is just a simple matter of reinserting the pins into the board and soldering it. AJ Cohen over on the Apple II Enthusiast Group recommended GE silicone glue to glue the little ceramic nibs back in. And that should be it. And I'm going to go off and box this up along with some 4164 RAMs for Javier. So thanks for watching.